Hi, I'm Sam Sorbo from The Accidental Homeschooler, for The Accidental Homeschoolers. Uh, I'm the author of They're Your Kids, An Inspirational Journey from Self-Doubter to Homeschool Advocate. And, um, and I'm here to talk to you today about the separation of subjects. So, in our schools, we have divided all the subjects that we teach, right? So, you've got the math, and you've got science, and you've got English grammar, and then you've got English writing, and then, um, what else? Social studies, history, uh, gym class. I'm trying to remember back in my school days. Um, and do you remember how they, how they divided it up? And so if you were a math and science person, STEM, uh, you know, you were sort of over here, and then the people who were really good at English um, or the humanities, you know, social studies or whatever, they were over here and, you know. And, and yet, strangely, it was sort of demonstrably not true. The kids who excelled in school sort of excelled in everything, and the kids who didn't basically didn't. And I, rem I remember that because I remember that I always thought I was just a math science girl. That's all I was. And, um, and I hated English. Even though I was in the advanced English classes, I hated it. Uh, I didn't like the fact that, that um, language made no sense, um, that it was all very nebulous. It wasn't specific. And I really liked the specificity of the logic in math and that two plus two is four, although now they've taken that out with Common Core, so two plus two is seven if you can show how you got there. I, I hope that we don't get Common Core engineers designing any of our bridges, I'll just say that. Okay, so, um, so we, we've sort of bifurcated our subject matter, and that's wrong. And the reason that it's wrong is that math is a foreign language. In fact, everything is a foreign language. When you understand that math is a foreign language, it just has a different grammar. It has different, uh, it's, a, it's a different language. It uses numbers to express statements which are called equations. And, um, and it has different syntax and different rules uh, for those expressions. When, when you realize that, then you have to start making this connection that, that, the, that all of these things are connected in a different way than you may have ever thought, certainly, but they're not separated in the way that we sort of grew up with. Um, as a math person, I now speak five languages because I figured it out. I'm like, oh, so language is just math statements, but with words. So I, I sort of went backwards. <laughs> and that's why, and I finally, it, it took me teaching my children grammar to figure that out. How? Because English grammar, there's a syntax to it, there's, there's a whole logic to it, and when you start breaking down your English sentences to their pieces and putting the pieces together and understanding how the sentence structure works and, and all of that, it, it starts to just, it starts to click. And this is something that we weren't taught in school because we were taught the, basically the math was math and English was English and ne'er the twain should meet. But they should meet. In fact, they all should meet because you can't have English grammar without understanding history, without understanding Latin. You don't have to understand Latin to, to study English grammar, but sure, it makes it easier. You don't have to know history to study English grammar, but sure makes it easier. And, and then you start connecting things. And you realize that it's, it's, a, it's a fabric. It's a tapestry. It's, it's a web. So all that to say, 
I think that that our education system gets it wrong by really separating all the subjects. Um, so be encouraged because just because you think that they are their own little mountains, they're not. And you can start weaving them in together with each other uh, and it'll make your job a lot easier. It'll make, it'll make the whole seem easier when you realize that it's not like, oh gosh, okay, we have to do history now. The, okay, history is the story of the world. It's the story, it's a story. What's not to love about a story? History should be the most fun of the day. Um, when we did history, um, and, and what's great about history is when you're learning the history, it relates back to the other things. The history of math, the history of numbers. Do you know that we didn't have um, the number zero for the longest time? It just didn't exist. The concept of zero didn't exist for a very long time. So, uh, yeah, separation of subjects. Kind of a misnomer. Kind of. Give that some thought. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe to my videos and go over to samsorbo.com for more information and for uh, ordering my book. Order one for a friend. Uh, do them a favor. It's just not as hard as you think. Okay? Be encouraged. Be empowered. Embrace the journey.